MetaGrid for iOS now offers native support for custom actions in Reaper. To enable MetaGrid support in Reaper, do the following. Download MetaServer and app-specific resources from our website. Open MetaServer and make sure it's running. In the Reaper, go to Reaper Preferences. Click Metasystem Reaper in MIDI port and check Enable Input for Control Messages. Click OK. If you want to send MIDI notes, CCs and program changes from Metagrid to Reaper, check Metasystem MIDI in port and click Enable Input from this device and Enable Input for Control Messages. Now Reaper is ready to talk to Metagrid with MIDI. Go to Actions, Show Action List, and click Import Export and then select Import. Navigate to the location where you saved Metagrid app specific resources and find Metagrid Reaper keymap file. Action List in Reaper will now feature 382 custom macros that you can customize to your needs. For example, you want macro 1 to add 4 new tracks. Go to Edit. Remove the already existing wait action, which we had to add by default. Search for Add New Track command and click it four times. You will see four actions in the right pane. Close the action list window. In MetaGrid, select the button that you would like to assign to your macro and touch Action Queue. Touch the plus icon and select App Specific command. Select Item 1 from Macros category. Name your button Assign a color and give it an icon. Although there are no Reaper specific icons, you can choose from hundreds of DAW specific icons and music related graphics. Now your button is ready to trigger the macro in Reaper. You don't have to assign or remember any keyboard shortcuts or MIDI messages. MetaGrid does it automatically for you. MetaGrid is a perfect companion for Reaper, or any application on your computer for that matter. For more information, go to metasystem.io to learn how to streamline your creative workflow with MetaGrid. Thanks for watching.